hello Linux world, specifically uh, KDE world. Um, I'm going to go over a few things today on activities this feature in KDE 4 that many people as I have seen through forums and other videos are a little bit confused on how to use. Basically KDE has this thing called activities as you can see right here. And what these are, are they're a caveat, an extra to your, your workspace environments. So um, say you're a developer, you can set up an activity for developing which has all your files that you'll need, all your programs set up and everything inside of it for easy access and also some widgets that'll help you determine if your development is going good. Um, other things, entertainment activities, I'll, I'll show you in, in a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to go go to activities. See right now the activity we're using is called blank which is nothing right here. Nothing on the screen except for the panel at the bottom. So what we'll do first is we'll go to my general use. So this is the general use activity that I have set up as you can see it's set up for general use. I've got my home folder right here for easy access to everything that I would do. I've got a, just a simple system monitor right there. I've got the time at the top, I've got the weather, and i got my Facebook page open right here. But you can't see that because I don't want you seeing my Facebook. Anyways, so yeah, general use. You can use that for opening up browsing and stuff like that. Uh, just check an email. Uh, if you're just using your computer for nothing really important at all, there you go, general use. You can go see what we have in the development one. Development right there. So here, basically, as you can see, the wallpaper changed. I don't know for you, but for me, I know that um, I have a pretty spastic mind, and I really need to concentrate when I'm actually trying to learn or create something. So I changed the background here to be nothing fancy, just straight up black to blue gradient. And uh, you could change every single wallpaper that you need for every activity. So every activity that you have can have a different wallpaper. That's, that's a cool, another cool thing about activities. As you can see here, I got development stuff right here. All the reference that I need. Yada, yada, yada. System monitor. All right. And uh, the last one that I set up is entertainment. So basically, all it is is a black screen, made it look like a movie theater almost, except in the middle here, we got uh, my video files. So you can just open them up, go in, watch whatever I want to watch. Alright, so next, I'll show you how to make one. So, here we have this little window right here, this is where our activities are kept. Also, you can hit Alt D, Alt A, and that opens up the same window. So Alt D, Alt A, right there. Here, what we're going to do is going to hit New Activity. What we have here is Newspaper Activity, Folder View, Desktop, Search and Launch Containment. I'm not going to go over what every single one of these things does. You just have to s experiment with yourself and kind of see what's going on. But most of mine tend to be desktop views. So this is desktop. It's like the standard setup when you when you boot into the uh the KDE, KDE environment. Basically what we're gonna do is gonna add some widgets here. So um and we'll put a calendar on there. That looks good. Put it over there, make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, CPU monitor right there. Um and a hard disk status. Um and maybe a device notifier. No device available currently, but we'll keep it on there. Um, there you go. Go in here, change up the background a little bit. Hmm. I don't have many, many saved, but there you go. That's basically you set up an activity. I don't, this one has no purpose at all, but uh, just an example of what's going on here. To name your activity, you go into that desktop settings, go to activity, and uh, new activity, 
or whatever. And that is your activity name. Hit apply, hit OK. And you can go back to the activities thing. And look at that. Right here. New activity for whatever. Now, to stop this new activity for whatever, stop it. It goes back in to the previous activity that you were using before you went in to the new activity. So, you just stop that one. Alright? Now, to delete one, you just hit this little X right here. If you see that X. Hit that. Do you want to remove it? And yes, we do. And look at that. Now, one thing to note right here. You see all these stop signs right here? All these little, these little stop icons? Each of these activities is running. So, make sure when you're done you stop all those activities because it consumes less resources on your machine. Well, that's all I have to say about activities in KDE 4. Hopefully you like my video. I hope you enjoy some more KDE 4 videos that I will be putting out soon.